I'm out here in the cold and I'm so excited. Welcome to Red Star Media. I really appreciate all those who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, those who watch my first video. As an immigrant living in Canada, I am often asked a general question. Oh, Doreen, why did you immigrate to Canada? Like, why did I leave my country of origin to move to another country? Today, I am going to be bringing you reasons why immigrants move from one country to another. And in the context of finding feet, this is going to go a long way in bringing that answer. A lot of times, people have had to migrate from one country to another, voluntarily or involuntarily. I would also like to add here that, according to United Nations, an estimate of 244 million people have currently moved from their country of origin to another. Today, I am going to be breaking this down into three perspectives from the micro level to the meso level and to the outer macro level. I hope you understand as we go along. Talking about the micro perspective, this is when we look at the family situation or the individual situation. Some people may say, due to different issues like socioeconomic instability, political crisis, religious crisis, natural disaster, and even of employment and poverty, there are a lot of reasons. I immigrated was based on safety and insecurity and also lack of job opportunities you know so at the end of the day I told to, I said to myself after working for months no pay I said you know what we need to re-strategize and look for somewhere else where I can be better utilized and that's a reason for me I know you are there you have different reasons for immigrating and um, I hope you'll be able to comment at the end of this video on to the meso factor this is the interconnection between the inner circle and that of the outer world which i'm going to be getting to in a few minutes the meso factor involves that connection that you have to wherever you decide to move to which can either be education friends family business and even international aid for myself i would say my reason was based on having a friend here in manitoba where i decided to immigrate to Moving on to the macro level, which is the outer world, the outer influence, the external influence on that of the meso and the micro region. I would say there are two. One is the human right, which actually says there's freedom of movement. Yes, you can decide to move from one place to another for job, for security reasons, or even for family reasons. Yes. So for the other one, I would say is the policy. Due to the government or provincial policy of Canada, I would give an example in this context, this is where I am at, right? That actually gave an opportunity for us or myself to immigrate. Yes, so based on human rights, people would say, I have the right to move to anywhere and to go back to where I'm coming from, right? And based on the government policy, which is on the outer or the external influence on you moving, you can say, okay, then now I have to look for the country whose policy kind of permits what I have. Like for myself, the eligibility criteria is like the financial factor, the education, the work experience, and even the connection which we have here in Manitoba. Like then, we had a very good friend, which was a good connection for us as highly skilled workers. And I would like to say here that in finding fit, a lot of us have to find balance. Yes, it's all about finding balance. And in the context of immigration, we have had to move from one location to another in order to find that balance we seek for. I hope you found this video very interesting and I trust you have your opinions out there. I have actually left a link below for those who want to have a good read on how generalizable most of this information I provided today is to all the context. However, I remain your host. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and give it a thumbs up. Also, please turn on the notification button so whenever a video comes out from this channel, you'll be the first to get it.